Hey Taurus, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your last week of October general love reading. Now keep in mind it's a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that is watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today and I hope that you guys are doing well. So for my tour, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Individuals, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I got was Be Alone With You by, oh my God, what is going on today? So it's by um, Tevin Campbell, but I want to say Tony Braxton. You guys know, and in case you're new to the channel, I always say this and this is true. This always rang true for me. There's no such thing as accidents. So again, the artist who sang the song Be Alone With You is Tevin Campbell, who happens to be a Scorpio. We're in Scorpio season, so this is going to play on Scorpio season for a lot of you guys. But the reason, the fact that I said Tony Braxton, Tony Braxton is a Libra, something significant could have taken place in Libra season. Like you could have met somebody new in Libra season. You could be dealing with a Libra. Um, and I feel like a relationship or the status of a relationship has shifted in Libra season possibly as well. Libra season is September, October timeframe. So that may resonate for someone. Um, also, my friend sent me this song. Like, we talk to each other through music, and he sent me this song. Just a friend. <laughs> he sent me that song two days ago. I didn't even listen to it when he sent it to me because I already knew the song. And we just, a lot of times when we're going through the, certain phases and things like that in our life, or we're just really feeling the song because we're music heads. He's a Virgo. I'm a Gemini. You know, we both are ruled by Mercury. So that's how we communicate with each other is through music. And he just randomly, we haven't talked in like almost a week, right? And he just randomly sent me that song. So you could be dealing with a Virgo also, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the visual, or again, something significant with a love interest that you connected with or someone who you're interested in or someone who's interested in you in Virgo season, August, September timeframe. Okay. So it, this makes a lot of sense because let's jump into it because I want to show you guys because these time frames, some of you guys have options. I'm getting that for sure. Back of the deck here, you have the nine of pentacles, single woman, single man. That could be Virgo for sure because you have the nine of pentacles. Um, again, Virgo season is August, September, September 9. If you look at it, she has three roses in her hand. That's like love options or offers, but one is sticking out more. One rose is sticking out more. Um, it's interesting because in the song, he says, I just want to be alone with you and there's nothing else I'd rather do. That's how he starts the opening of the hook of the song. She's there alone. But if you notice, like I said, she has options, but one is sticking out. So someone is going to... Either make a move on you or you are going to allow yourself to be open to connecting with a specific love interest, okay? In the bottom of the deck, you have the high priestess. This person could be a Piscean. They got a first, middle, or last initial of JBM, PRS, or T. First, middle, last initial for this person. You got this initial also, but this is the person that I'm picking up on. This is, this is a person that is a love interest. I'm also getting, and I never get this with this card, but for some of you all, you're going to pick a person or you're going to... Allow a love interest that you never expected or someone that you was is not even close to being your type. You get what I'm saying? For some reason, just the fact that this book is closed and it's behind her, it's like, who would have known? Like, who would have known that you would end up falling for someone like that or you would give someone like that a chance? I'm, I'm getting that also. I've never gotten that with that card, but yeah. But now you got the Ten of Wands, carrying a heavy load, carrying a heavy burden. Some of you all, you could just like literally just became free because this is being weighed down. This is freedom. And that's right behind that. And if you look at how you move it, you're ascending from a heavy relationship. Some of you all could have left behind a fire sign, a Leo, Sag, or Aries. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. So remember, she has three roses in her hand here, right? And then behind him, there's one, two, three animals. So some of you all could have ended a relationship about three months ago. Because you got three animals. She has three roses. Some of you all could have ended a relationship three months ago or in March. Okay, I'm getting that also. So we're going to go through the deck until we get you guys Major Arcana, which happens to be the hair font. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Individuals. Let's see what we get for you guys. I just want to be alone with you, and there's nothing else I'd rather do. Again, if you don't know the song, listen to it, because it may resonate with you on a level more than what I talk about today. Okay? Hmm. Star card, wish fulfillment and healing. Somebody's going to take a chance. She's pouring from two different vases. One is held on a higher statue than the other one. A lot of you guys have options. And if you know it's not you, man, maybe you could be talking to someone who has options, but they're choosing you. Okay? And I was getting ready to say Aquarius. 
And I, but I stopped myself because I'm like, I don't, I didn't see an Aquarius cards, but then you got Aquarius right here. This same thing happened in Aries reading. If you were dealing with Aries or a relationship ended in Aries season, check out Aries reading because Aries season is March, April, March is three. And I was just talking about that three reference there. So there could have been an ending in, Mar um, in March during Aries season or with March Aries, or you could have met someone at that time frame as well. But something significant with March. Whatever the case, I feel like somebody's wishes is going to come true when it comes to a love relationship, for sure. So, again, we want the hair font. And the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. There you go. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Tracks, Lab, Pass, your girl. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals, you have the Four of Pentacles. So, some of you all specifically could be April. Tauruses doesn't have to be. But for the Four of Pentacles, he, he's stingy. Look at his face. He's stingy. He, he doesn't want to release... Those pinnacles, and that makes a lot of sense to the song. I just want to be alone with you. For some of you all, also, it could be a thing where every time you connect with this person, it's all they always have friends around, or you always have friends around. It's like you guys don't get to spend much time by yourselves, just the two of you all. I feel like somebody, <laughs> I don't want to say it that way, but I'm hearing like this person wants to hold you captive, but not in a negative way. And I know that doesn't sound like a good way, but I feel like this person just wants just all of your undivided attention. That's what I get. Matter of fact, what did I write is these notes? Um, yeah, somebody wants your undivided attention. I typically write notes so just so I don't miss out on certain things that I want to share with you all, but somebody wants your undivided attention or you want someone's undivided attention. Like this may be the type of person, and I think at some points in our life, we all know somebody who's like, they just have to be around a crowd of people. Like they just need to be submerged in, in different energy all the time. Like they don't like to be lonely or, you know, something like that. Some of y'all could be dealing with someone like that, or you could be someone like that. So there's your energy. You have the hair font that is you, my beloved Taurus. And then right behind that, you have the world card, you again. Boom, 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 right there in the quantum. So Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio. You got that energy. And we are currently in Scorpio season. So you may have somebody coming towards you because she's definitely traveling to some type of destination. Um, somebody's coming towards you. And I feel like they're expressing that they want you guys to be exclusive. Or like I said, if they had options, it may be unknown for a lot of y'all, but if they had options, I feel like they're, they're choosing you. You are the ultimate option, okay? So, let's go ahead. I'm going to change the cards top and bottom again. I'm just being guided to. Um, we're going to get a clarifier for your Four of Pentacles as well as the World card. Currently at the bottom of the deck, the Six of Swords. So, I feel like, I'm going to say again for some of y'all, someone's choosing you or you're choosing someone, but... I always say with this card, you see how her head is down, like she's not very happy. It's like she's pouting and there's a child right next to her. Someone may also have chose to stay in a family situation. But I feel like this would be earlier on, like someone chose to stay in a family situation, but that didn't make them happy. Now they're coming towards you because I feel like somebody's becoming free. Somebody's becoming free from a, a situation with someone that they have a child or children with. I don't feel like they was happy in that situation. That's what I'm getting there. So that's part of the deck. Yeah, they weren't happy. It was a lot of conflict, a lot of drama. And remember I was saying early on, somebody always has a lot of people around them. And that's, that's yeah, I, I'm getting it now, okay? <laughs> I hope you guys are seeing that. Like, somebody's always surrounded by people and it's a bunch of drama causing headaches. He got that rap on his head. Now the wands won't worry. Some of you guys definitely ended something with a fire sign or a fire sign season. You got Leo here, and I did mention earlier on Aries. So Leo, Aries, now you got Scorp uh, Sagittarius. So definitely could be a fire sign. Oh, I just seen the devil. But I seen that devil in reverse on that last shuffle. So detaching from something unhealthy, something toxic, okay? Toxicity. Bottom of the deck, yeah, detaching. Because I write the nine of wands, the wounded warrior. Somebody who's stressed out, someone who's going through it, and reverse is the opposite. So yeah. I also feel like... Um, Someone has intimacy issues, and that's why they were, I feel like, because what I'm hearing is somebody had intimacy, has intimacy issues, and that's why they always have a lot of people around them, because that makes them feel secure, or like they're loved, or something like that. So if you're, if, you deal, if you're dealing with someone who's like that, like every time you look up, they got to be with their homeboys or their homegirls, it's because this person has self-esteem issues, like that's, that's what this person's dealing with. Let's get a clarifier for that Four of Pentacles, Universal Energies of Light, Love, and Divine Protection. You got the Ten of Wands yet again. Carrying a heavy load, carrying a heavy burden. Okay, and that's clarifying the Four of Pentacles. Uh, again, name of the song is Be Alone With You, and both of them are there alone. So I'm hearing two messages with this. 
somebody is in a heavy relationship where it just feels like they're they're alone in the relationship. And but they're staying in it because they don't want to release something because they put they invested a lot. Of pentacles are investments. So even if they're not happy, somebody is still moving or is wanting to stay in this relationship because there's and that they've invested energy, emotions, things like that. But also, I get someone who's leaving that because the Ten of Wands, Tens talk about things wrapping up, right? So even if this person is like, okay, I've invested so much. I don't want to give up everything. I, we live together. You know, I've invested thousands of dollars in this person's dreams or just emotionally. I feel like somebody is going to walk away, you know, because it's like, this is too heavy. They're still choosing to carry it and they even take it in front of them but I feel like that's wrapping up for a lot of y'all something wrapped up in October I know we're still in October as I'm doing this reading but it may have happened early on in October or by the end because 10 is the end okay by the end of October somebody's gonna walk away from because even here you got somebody going in a different direction walking away from a heavy relationship or a heavy connection and going on to something new something that's gonna make them happy you know Bottom of the deck, yeah, something that's going to make them happy. Three of Wands waiting for your ships to come in, moving in a different direction. As far as relations go, a lot of you all are going in a different direction. You want to see something. You want to be happy. You have that bright yellow on the horizon. That's like, you know, abundance, happiness, joy, vitality. Some of you all could have been single for the last 10 months, last four months, or since April. For some of you all, since October of last year, could have been single. Let's get a clarifier for the world card. Universal energies of light, love, and divine protection. Give me a clarifier for the world for Taurus, Sun, and Rising. Okay. Some of y'all definitely ended something with a fighting sign. <laughs> you got Leo Sage, Aries here, Page of Wands in reverse. Um, or this person ended something with you. You guys are no longer talking. Pages are messengers, so you guys are no longer talking. But here's the thing. That was a gift and a curse. For some of y'all, it felt like a curse. Like, you know, I, I'm so invested. Because you are pentacles. It could be like, I'm so invested. And I, I willingly carry this relationship even though I'm not happy. Because that's Six of Swords that we seen earlier with the woman with her head down like she's not happy. That could have been you. Here's the thing. You guys as Tauruses or if you have strong Taurus placements in your chart, Taurus is a fixed sign. That's not saying that you can't change things or that you'll just stay in stuff that makes you unhappy. But you are typically fixed in what it is that you feel strongly and passionately about. Tauruses are very strong-minded, very passionate, stubborn. Even when things aren't necessarily in your best interest, if you've invested in it, sometimes you'll tend to stay in those situations. I've seen it a lot. My mother's a Taurus. My daughter's a Taurus. My only niece is a Taurus. I'm surrounded by Taurus. I'm a Taurus moon, Taurus mercury. You can get stuck in that energy. And so you can stay in it because you've invested. But I feel like somebody may have walked away from you or stopped talking to you and they're not communicating with you properly. And so that's going to prompt you to move on because you're right there in the corner. You're getting your wings. You are definitely moving on. And I feel like you already have a new love interest. I feel like there's a love interest already um, in your... It's, it's in your surroundings somehow. I feel like even if you haven't met this person, like this person is going to be coming in expressing interest. You some, For some of you guys, you definitely got somebody who has been secretly like check you out for a while. Ch trying to flirt with you and things like that. Excuse me. Or you may be interested in someone because... Uh, you're going to get something very positive. Relationship-wise, something positive is definitely coming in. That's that's going to happen. And again, like I said, you have options. For a lot of y'all, there's options. Something with four stands out a lot. Someone's birthday could be on the 4th, 14th, 24th. I'm just looking. He has four pentacles here, right? And then on the side of her, she has one, two, three, four. Four elements around her. So some of y'all definitely have a four, or like I said, someone could be an April Taurus. Just put it where it applies. You also could have ended a four-year-long relationship. Someone could have a four-year-old child with, with someone as well. And that's why you're invested because the child is still young and you don't want to, you know, mess up the family structure. I'm getting something like that also. I also feel, because I'm just here right now, if there was an ending, because there's an ending for somebody. Um, this person's going to try to come back in. Possibly for the children or for the child, saying that they want to reestablish something with the family. But I feel like for a lot of y'all, you won't be happy with it. For one reason or another, I, I don't I don't get that you'll be happy. And I feel like because um that that ship has sailed. That ship, pun intended, relationship has sailed. Because even at the bottom of the deck here, you have the fool card. This is taking a leap of faith into something new and reverses like, yeah, don't don't go backwards. Just move forwards. That that's what I'm hearing here. Okay. 
So Taurus, Summer Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click that notification button, and until next time, take care and be well. Bye.